Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel and today I've got a special one. I'll be showing you what I see as a goalkeeper during my training sessions. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll speak to you after the drop. Right here, so there'll be two clips within this video. The first set of clips will be filmed on a separate day to the second one. So the first ones are filmed with Alistair Mitchell and the GoPro is attached to my chest, whereas the second one is filmed with Danny and the GoPro is attached to my head. In the first one, I focus on passing and my first touch. However, on the second clip, I focus on my crossing and shot stop. Now, let's focus on the passing and first touch session. After we warmed up, I set up two cones about 5 to 8 metres apart and all we were doing is just passing the ball to each other and following your pass. Yes. Delay if he's not ready, just slowly. Yeah. Yes. After that, we progressed it onto two touch and we still followed the pass. The first touch should be sharp and the pass should be firm into the player as well. Yes! Oh, shit. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Nice shoot. Yes, my fault, mate. Yeah. Oh, watch it, watch it. Yes, my fault, yes. Then we introduce a setting to there. So all you do is pass the ball to your partner, the partner plays it back to you, you set them, and he plays it off again. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Oh, do it all. We then moved on to an L-shaped passing drill and in here we are focusing on that first touch to the direction, opening out and seeing where we want to play next. The touch should be very sharp and the part should be struck into the partner. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, left foot. Yes. Yes, yes I'm left. Yes. Left foot. Yeah. Yes, right foot. Yeah. Yes. Yes, left foot. Yes. Oh. Yes, my next ball. Next ball. Yes. Yes. Yes, left foot, yes. Yes. Yes, right foot, yes. The last part of the passing and first touch part of the session was I set up two stations. In the first station, there are two cones about three meters apart. And when you get to each cone, you should take one touch very sharply and pass it off. You do this three times on each cone. Once you do that, you move straight away onto a V-shaped passing drill. With this, you travel in a V-shape and every time you get to a cone, you pass it off using one touch only. In this drill, we did six reps each side. Yeah. Yes, left foot. Yes. Yes, right foot. Yes. Left foot. Yeah. Right foot, yes. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No worry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's move on to the second clip where I had the GoPro on my head and I was taking crosses and shots. So firstly, I started off with volleys. Danny shouted, yeah, I just turned and caught a volley. I always like to incorporate some movements in volleys because in a game, you're not always still when you're taking a shot. You're always on the move and therefore this replicates it perfectly. Then after that, we just did crossing from both sides. Danny Ivo was running in, he was crossing in stationary or going really far out. This is perfect to work on my crossing and the timing of the cross to take it at the highest point. Keep it on! Keep it on! 
<laughs> Lastly, we did loads of shooting where Danny took it through the cones. I started high, dropped back. I started on the angle, dropped into the middle, all sorts, but it was perfect to replicate in-game situations and I hope you enjoy all these saves. No wonder the face you want me. I'm going. What? Go on then. Jesus Christ. And on that note, it's that video over. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new from it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.